Leo, this is going to be your reading for the week of May 19th. Woo, your card just flew out. <laughs> um, if you're new to me, welcome. If you're returning, thank you. Um, also, don't forget to check out my social media account links down in the description box below for more fun stuff. And if it resonates, please do like, share, and subscribe. So, Leo, let's see what we have going on for you this week. And your cards are have a lot to say, clearly, because they just both flew out over here. So let me grab them real quick and see. Okay. Oh my goodness. All right. So Leo, whew. overall <laughs> energy for the week. Yeah, the five of swords. Okay. So um, definitely might be dealing with some conflict this week. Be on the watch out for that. Sometimes, though, I, I can also see this card as somewhat feeling defeated. So, Leo, you might be um, either dealing with someone that's feeling defeated and or that might be something that you have been struggling with, um, you know, to overcome. And so let's get all the cards out and see what this might be pertaining to for you. And let's see what it has to say here. So Leo, recent past energy, you have temperance in the reverse, um, the magician in the reverse, hmm. and then the nine of pentacles in the reverse. So Leo, you know, I feel like that you've been um, feeling a little out of balance in the past energy, okay? But I see that energy actually correcting coming into this week. So I like that. I feel like you may not have been seeing things come to fruition the way that you wanted it to, whether this be in relationship or career in the past energy, okay? But I do feel um, that you're coming into more of a Nine of Pentacles energy coming into this week. And so your reading last week was very, very interesting. Um, you know, it was very specific too, so I can't imagine it resonated with all of you. But um, it was a tough reading, and so... I'm happy to see that you are coming more into the Nine of Pentacles this week, which is feeling more stable, secure with who you are, um, feeling more grounded again, okay? So um, I'm going to keep the messages general to begin with, and then I'm going to break it down into love and career at the end. So coming into this week, the general energies are the Emperor, the Two of Wands, and then the Five of Swords, but it's in the reverse, which is nice. So if you remember, the overall energy was the Five of Swords. I feel strongly that this is past energy, recent past. And then coming into this week, you've got that card in the reverse, which is better. So I feel like you're re you're taking back control, okay? Taking back control. Um, I feel like you don't want to fight anymore. You know what I'm saying? If there's been a lot of conflict or even inner conflict within you, maybe about um, the past, you know, for some reason that is affecting the future. But I feel like you're you're in a spot right now, Leo, where you just kind of want to let it go. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't even care um, if you win or lose. It's just like, I'm just done with it, you know? <laughs> Whatever this conflict was for you. And so... Um, Rounding out the end of the week in the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. The Three of Pentacles in the reverse. And then the Page of Cups. So I feel like, again, this is um, a very independent energy, okay? This is almost, I almost get this feeling of like, you know, I can do bad all by myself. <laughs> or... If not that, then it's just this energy of, you know, you know, if, if, you know, it's, I can't get the word out. Why? Some of you may have be, be having trouble speaking up or speaking your mind. You might be worried about some things and not speaking about it because you're worried it might cause conflict. Okay. So you're kind of keeping your thoughts to yourself. And I feel like whatever the situation is, you kind of want to handle it yourself. I keep getting that same message over and over again. You know, I, I want to handle it myself or you don't want to involve other people. 
into your situation right now. Um, yeah. So I also feel like, you know, things might be pretty stagnant towards the end of the week, but I think it's purposeful. Like I said, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like, like a time out. All right. Now you end the week though on the page of cups, which is opening up your energy again. So I feel like this is temporary and towards the end of the week, um, more than likely, um, softening up a little bit, okay, being more open uh, in the love arena particularly, or being more vocal about your emotions. Some of you are really at a crossroads right now on whether or not to speak on something that's bothering you, okay, because you had an additional card pop out, and it was the Two of Swords, so this is someone who feels the need to either protect themselves and or they're holding on to uh, some information, not sharing information, um, you know, it's a very protective energy. Um, for some reason, I heard the word conflict resolution. <laughs> I don't know why. That could be important this week, okay? So I'm actually going to clarify a few of these cards here. And then I'm going to break it down into love and career. So that is a very general message for all of you, regardless. I feel like either this is your energy or you're dealing with someone like this who might be keeping things to themselves, uh, maybe not sharing all the information with you. Um, they might be going through a lot of inner turmoil and not speaking about it and or Leo, you are, you know, so let me clarify some of these. Let's apply the swords in reverse. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the love messages first and how this may play out this week in your love life. Um, just keep in mind that love encompasses a lot of different areas. So it could pertain to an intimate partner, an ex, a family member, friend. Just take it as it resonates. Um, so I did get some more clarification out. And as it pertains to love, group one. If there has been, um, you know, unsteadiness in the love department in the recent past, I feel that somebody doesn't want to rock the boat here, okay? So things might have stabilized recently in your love life, Leo, and you just kind of want to keep the status quo, okay, or this person does. So I feel like in order to do that, you're purposely trying to avoid conflict, by not necessarily speaking on some things that might be on your mind that you are either concerned about or may cause conflict, okay? I think you're just so ready for a new beginning and new passion in your life. Um, and you really want the stagnant, nasty, stuck energy gone, okay? And I feel like the way that you are attempting to do that this week is to kind of keep things to yourself, you know? for the majority of the week. You know, I feel like you want to feel like you are in the driver's seat. Um, you definitely have some decisions to make here uh, within the love arena. Um, and I feel like you wanna make these decisions without any outside interference, okay? So that's why I feel like you're trying to maybe avoid the gossip, avoid the drama this week. Um, because it's just like, eh, you know, I kind of want to deal with this on my own, which, you know what, your own intuition is your best, you know, source anyway. So, I mean, I think that is probably good advice, actually, is to try and, um, you know, figure things out for yourself and where is your heart and what is important to you. Um, I feel like at the end of the week, like I said, the energy is softening up. Some of you, so there's two actually very specific groups within love. One group of you 
are dealing with someone who is quite manipulative, okay? Um, they like to look out for their own greater good first, okay? And so um, I feel like this person likes to be the one in control. This might be a control freak. Um, they may have caused conflict or you might have conflict if you're in a relationship with this person in the past. And I feel like some of you are actually grappling with the decision on whether to leave or not. Or the person you're paired with, Leo, is grappling with that situation of like, do I really want to start again in this relationship? Because I kind of just want to give up. Um, because I, you know, this person makes me feel stuck. All right. So I feel like some of you are kind of going back and forth in your mind and or the person you're dealing with is going back and forth in their mind about either um, having a new beginning here or just calling it, you know, what it is. Um, I feel like ultimately after you take some time alone this week, you will open up a little bit more emotionally, um, you know, and you might share your feelings or this person might share their feelings, but it's not all the information. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, surface level you know you might open up but you're not necessarily letting the floodgates open you know what i'm saying because there's a sense of wanting to protect yourself from being having a, experiencing loss or change that you're not ready for you feel you're not ready for but i feel that transformation is actually essential and i see that in the far future that there will be a change in this situation after a period of time of thinking it over okay um so, yeah, I definitely see that as a very strong group here. Um, and I think that's kind of the approach you're taking if you fall into that group. I find that this is particularly likely, um, Leo women, I feel like you're dealing with a male this way that might be keeping things to themselves. But because it's general, it can be interchangeable. Leo men, you might be the ones kind of keeping your worries or your fears to yourself. Um... So, yeah, that's a pretty large group of you because that is actually the strongest message. The other group of you, I don't, you know, I feel like it's really just wanting to feel more in control. You know, I, you know, I think that maybe for a lot of you, if you're in group two, then likely it's just you've not had good luck in the getting things off the ground in the past, maybe within the love arena and wanting to be more independent, wanting to feel more in control. Okay. I feel like, uh, for this group, you might have shut out, um, a person in the past that was very, very toxic. Okay. And then opened up yourself to someone new who is much more grounded who, you know, you have a lot more passion with, who you're free to feel like yourself with. So I feel like uh, this other relationship here makes you feel much more like you have more breathing room than this prior relationship did if you're in group two. So group two, I feel like you have left a situation that made you feel unstable in the past um, you know, to, and regrounded yourself. And now you're moving into either a new relationship or reconciling this relationship in the past, but it's on much more stable footing this time around. Um, you know, so I think that actually looks good if you're in group two. I feel like this new energy that's coming through for you is going to bring you a lot more joy. Um, it's almost like you wouldn't have been able, I don't want to say it like that. It's almost like one door closes, one door opens, you know, and what you thought was a loss, you know, actually turns out to be a blessing um, because now you have all this new energy coming in for you. So I actually feel like group one and group two kind of go together. Some of you are, I feel like if, you know, group one you might be just a little bit further behind on the timeline and still in a relationship with a manipulative person or dealing with that. Group two, I feel like you've kind of advanced past that and now you're, you've pulled in a new partner here and this partner is bringing you much more fulfillment, okay? Um, and or your past 
you've reconciled things with the prior partner and now things are more stable. So I feel like kind of group one and group two are interchangeable almost. I hope you're still following me, but <laughs> that's love this week. As it pertains to career, I feel like if you've been having trouble getting things off of the ground in the past energy, um, there's a very independent vibe here this week. So I feel like, um, you know, I, I feel like you definitely have new ideas that are on the horizon. Um, you know, you might not have had all of what you needed to move forward with these goals, but I feel like you are in the process of obtaining that. So you're in the process maybe of saving money up for something that you want to do, or you're in the process of learning a new skill or building on the career that you already have. Um, I do feel that, um, there is somewhat of a fear here of loss. So some of you, you know, be careful with that. Some of you are afraid of not having enough and, or point blank job loss for a very few of you. But I, I just feel like I don't actually see, um, I feel like if that is the case, you recover pretty quickly here. Okay, but I feel like you have to do a lot of the work on your own, okay? Like, um, this is something that you'll have to build up on your own. It may take time, up to three years, if you're starting to save money or build a business. Um, but I feel like the flood, the floodgates are slowly opening up towards that direction, Leo, to more financial stability and being able to um, have more options and not feeling so protective over, you know, what's yours or fearing, you know, loss or etc. And the reason why I say be careful with that type of thinking is, you know, you, you create what you think to some degree or another. So if you're constantly, you know, running around life, fearing loss, um, you kind of attract that energy to you. So just know that um, the universe is on your side. I actually always see this card in the reverse as uh, angels or the universe having your back. And so I feel like get more into that frame of thinking of that, you know, um, good things are for me uh, because I'm a good person and um, I deserve this and that I will always have enough. You know, get into that mindset of I always have enough. I will always have enough. And I, you know, the universe has weird ways of working where if you practice that mantra, that thinking, and of course put the work in. You can't just sit around and think all day. I mean, you have to put the work in. <laughs> but if you get into that more positive mind frame, you'll start noticing the opportunities open up a little bit easier. Things start flowing to you a little bit easier because you're not so scared or worried or putting out those negative vibes um you know use intentional thinking here and that was a bit of a tangent but i guess that was necessary for someone to hear okay so um i i like this reading a lot better than last week um last week uh side note i did see uh, someone that didn't quite have all their marbles um, in the reading. And I feel like um, for a lot of you, this person may still be somewhat in your energy fields, but I feel like you're giving up the fight for that or you are trying to isolate yourself from that situation, that person, okay? Um, I feel like you don't want to participate in that anymore or they don't. If it's you that doing it, okay? So, Leo, uh, zodiac signs you might be dealing with. I have Aries here. I have a Sagittarius. I had Scorpio at the bottom of the deck. Uh, possibly Pisces, Cancer. And Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus are the primary zodiac signs I'm seeing here. That could be someone you're dealing with. That could be placements in your chart or just the energy you're embodying this week. So take it as it resonates. It's general. But I wish you all the best either way. And I love you. Till next time. Namaste. Bye.